that's why we ride motorbikes. Fucking knob. What an utter idiot. Dictating where I put my bike. <sighs> so if you look at Mr. BMW there, there's absolutely no reason why he shouldn't be in the outside lane. Absolutely no reason at all. And uh, this is kind of something that, I don't know, it fits with a lot of people, a lot of people I know have real, oh, it makes your blood boil. But it's like, well, what can you do about it? You can't really do anything about them sitting in the outside lane. And I often wondered about, you know, you can't, you know, I've done things on this, so you go up on the wrong side of them and look at them as if to say, why am I on this side of you? You know, you should be on the other side of me. Um, but there's very little you can do about it. Unless maybe we started a a campaign. So maybe you show them like a sim, like a signal. Show them a, maybe three fingers. Maybe show them like a three fingers to tell them look, you know, there's there's three um there's three lanes here. Why are you taking up more than you need to? If it's not aggressive, you're not, you know, you're not sticking the V's up, you're not getting angry with them, you're not undertaking them. You're just kind of going alongside them, showing them three fingers or two fingers if it's only a two two lane road. But just, you know, not those two fingers, obviously. But it's showing them, you know, sort of a silent protest. And hopefully people will, will get the message, you know. I'm sure, I'm not sure if it's it's true or not but I'm sure that you know, there's loads of congestion that's caused by you know, a number of people being in the middle lane and giving less opportunity for people to overtake but that's basically what you're doing isn't it you're, you're halving the number of lanes you've got to choose from by sitting in the, in the middle lane or the outside lane for that for that fact Well, one other thing I wanted to work on is, um, I think there was a, one of the Salisbury group I'm part of, there was a couple of people have put that their, um, their bikes have been stolen, um, or, or have shared mates that have had bikes stolen and stuff, and I suppose for a couple of days, well no, it's been a week for me, you get really paranoid about every noise I hear outside. And you just think maybe, you know, if there was a way that we could get together all the all the ways that people have had their bikes stolen. So, you know, so I think the last one, it was just outside somebody's house and wasn't kind of, there was no sort of secondary security with it. You know, but if there's, if there's a, somebody's had a bike stolen that, you know, the guy needed to bring bolt croppers or the guy had a, I don't know, a, you know, a, 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 a torch welding device with it or something, you know, so we, we can get to find out that what people have got, you can then start to protect yourself from them. You know, so if you had like a, or even an alert system, so you know that a week ago, somebody in your vicinity had their bike stolen, and, uh, and you should be wary of it. You know, I think maybe that, you know, there's nothing, it's not beyond beyond the art of the possible to make a website that you know you have that flags up if somebody's had a bike stolen to advertise the fact that the bike's stolen but also ask the guy who's had it stolen how was it stolen where did you leave it what ev what debris was it did was it obvious they'd cut through it and you know was it were there any noise did they turn up in a van and stuff so we all start to build up a picture of what these twat bags are doing 
and then we can start, you know, putting in putting in stuff to stop them, making it difficult for them. Little bastards. And then, it, and then eventually we get like a Salisbury bait bike and we can get it GPS tracked and get it stolen and take baseball bats around to the people that we find who've stolen it. And play baseball with them all day. Yeah, that's what we do, we play baseball all day. I think that's another, I think that's a good idea, another good idea. So, and I got on for that, that came from, there was a thing on one of the YouTube channels. Um, about like a, a motor group, motorbike group, and um, I thought it's a great idea. I signed up to it, and I thought, oh god, it's American, it's all Americanised and stuff. And, it, and if I'm honest, it's just a blog. That's all it is. And I thought it'd be so much more. And that's where I came up with um, UKBikers.org, and I thought, you know, we could have like, um, I give you, I give you an example um, of. Make getting a list together of biker friendly car parks and I don't mean what the council say I mean what bikers say so a biker would say yeah the, the car park and so and so has got you know it's got covered bays or it's got bars so you can chain your bike to it and stuff it's got all the bits you need and stuff so it's a good a good thing and then you know cause just just by saying this on the, on the Salisbury forum we had a conversation about um, whether it's free or not to, to park your bike and, and I'm skeptical that if you parked your bike in a bay meant for a car that you wouldn't get a ticket because even on the machine it says motorcycles free in specified areas so um those are the kind of things we need to kind of work out you know is and it's only bikers that can do that you know, this this car park's good for this or that kind of stuff and then you you take that and you go further you can put like you know bike friendly cafes and bike friendly pubs and go any further and then anything else where you need to know the location of something you can do that so I suppose anyone with a bike who washes it down somewhere else needs to know where there's a wash down point with a lance and a brush and stuff not just a car point so you build up a, a specific bike map and then you can do loads of other stuff you can have, you can have the you know the um, The stuff of people who've had their bike nicked and stuff, and build a picture of what the twats had, how people have stolen them and stuff. Uh, I just think it might be a might be a decent resource. I'm oh, talking of decent resources. I came across um, motorbloggers.com, and and if I'm honest, I have to be honest. I thought, oh, I'll I'll sign up to it, but. It'll be just American people talking about American stuff and in the nice and sunny land and you know in the bloody place where the sun always bloody shines and they're all wearing t-shirts and um and actually it's British so I was well chuffed yes I'm on that so um <coughs> I've got to get my post rate up before I can post videos and stuff but won't be long. just been revved bombed by. I couldn't hear myself so must have been big. <laughs> 